Hello and welcome to this Bespoke Leaders Insights video. My name is Philip Anderson and today I want to share with you some more content from the Bespoke Leadership Development Program. And this is really a part two of an earlier video where we focused on the VUCA model. Today I want to share with you a video about the VUCA Prime. And this is almost a diag an additional diagnostic that you can use to think about the courses of actions or the strategies that you should be taking in order to meet the challenges within the VUCA model. So let's watch the video now and then afterwards I'll share with you some additional insight about this content. Here's the video. Let's now look at some of the actions, the strategies and the approaches that we can take to managing those VUCA environments and those challenges. In a volatile situation, our key focus is on vision. When we find ourselves with large resource scale change or when we find ourselves with a challenge that is fast, we need to remember what is our ultimate vision and goal. As a leader, we need to think about how we can also mobilize other resources. Remember in volatility, the work might not necessarily be complex. There's just a lot of it and it needs to get done potentially in a short amount of time. As a leader, sometimes we can burn the brunt or burden the brunt of the work that we need to take. However, in a volatile situation, if we're thinking effectively, we want to think about who can we leverage within our resource or our network base to help us manage that volatility. Uncertainty. Uncertainty, our key word is around understanding. When there are missing pieces of information that don't allow us to deal with great amount of clarity, we need to think where can we get the understanding from? Who can we once again reach out to within our network or within our relationship base? Who may be closer to that challenge or that missing piece of the puzzle that we can connect to so that we can understand what the scenario or what the situation may be? Once again, in uncertainty, we're having to look outside of ourselves and think who can help us in this particular challenge. When we think about complexity challenges, so those with many moving and interconnecting parts, our challenge in a complexity situation is being able to have the ability to synthesize the information, really trying to find a level of understanding. So when we're thinking about complexity, our key word is around clarity. We want to almost demystify and create some sense of clarity in the situation that we're faced with. Now in a complex situation, once again we might need the support and the resource of others. But this time, because of the complex nature of the problem, that individual that we look to may be a subject matter expert or someone that has a deeper level of knowledge that can help us synthesize and understand and create that clarity. Finally, ambiguity and our ambiguous challenges and situations. Well here, the reality is that there is nobody that can really help us because the cause and effect relationships simply do not exist. In an ambiguous situation, we need to focus on making assumptions. We need to make assumptions and hypotheses about what is the best action to take. And then we need to iterate and be willing to fail fast and fail forward so that we can cause a path to create greater levels of certainty. When we start to see the cause and effect relationships emerge, having the ability then to be able to adapt and be versatile. Now, within all of those environments of the VUCA acronym, you can see that there are unique approaches and challenges to adopt to help you overcome that situation. Rather than just working harder, sometimes as a leader we need to think about working smarter. As you move forward in your leadership journey and as you approach those challenges, take a time to step back and reflect on what challenge and the nature that you are dealing with so that then you can apply the right approach to handling the situation. So those are the core components and elements of the VUCA Prime model. And now you have a bit better grounding in terms of what actions are appropriate relative to the nature of that VUCA challenge. 
Remember, in developing leadership potential, the core capacities to diagnose and take action are fundamental to getting to the outcomes and the results that we want. And when you use tools and frameworks like the VUCA and the VUCA Prime, you're more equipped to choose the right path of action. I hope that these videos have helped you think about your leadership potential and expand your leadership frameworks. And I look forward to working with you again in another Bespoke Leaders Insights video.